In this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV, I'm going to show you how to make window vents for your Jeep when you're camping in the winter and the summer. So stick around. In last week's video, you would have seen that I made a diesel heater and I needed a way to get the heat from the heater into the Jeep. So I made a vent that would be mounted in the front window like you could see in this footage right here. In fact, I used some corrugated panel and I cut it to the shape that you see on the screen and you could use these dimensions to make the same panel for yourself. And then all you have to do is put a hole to direct your heater vent into. And the way it works is that you would lower the window all the way down and fit this panel into the location where your window was. And then as you raise the window up, you'd have the window go up on the inside of the panel and by friction, it would hold your panel in place. So that's an easy way to make a panel for winter camping when you need to hold a vent from your heater in place. But what about summer? Well, in this video, you saw how I made a window vent using an ease trough guard. A single guard would make the vent for both sides, the passenger and the driver's side. Very easy to do and you could see how to make it in that video. However, I did mention in this video that I preferred using a louvered vent that I made because not only did it protect from bugs because there's a screen because it's a soffit vent that you just buy at the hardware store, but it also has louvers so you don't need a tarp going over your Jeep or if you didn't have a tarp set up and happened to rain that night, you don't have to worry because the louvers also keep the rain out and the screen in the vent keeps the bugs out and it's a nice size. It really lets a lot of air move through there and it makes the Jeep very comfortable to camp in during the summertime. Now the way I made it was I just added some strips of aluminum around the edge that I screwed on so it would fit the opening of the rear windows. But not everybody has scraps of aluminum around. So I thought that I would redesign it using the same corrugated plastic panel that I used in the design of the winter vents. I'll briefly show you how to make these vented louvered panels. You have to start with a piece of corrugated panel at least 17 inches wide so it can fit into the grooves of the rear window opening. Now I'm cutting mine nine and a half inches tall because that gives me the two extra inches I need below the location of the vent on the corrugated sheet. That may vary depending on which vent you use. I'll explain the significance of the two inches at the bottom shortly. You should then test fit that the louvered panel is aligned along the top edge and centered lower two inches of the back side of the corrugated panel is now to be removed such that you only have the front face of the lower two inches of the corrugated panel attached. I use an X-Acto knife but you could use a Dremel or a PowerMax tool, whatever you have at your disposal. So now you have just your plain front side and then the reverse side has the lower two inches removed at the back. To maintain rigidity of the panel, I chose to make three separate holes for the vent rather than one large one. I drilled pilot holes in the plastic panel and secured the vent to the panel with small bolts. So I now have two panels, one for each side of the Jeep. There's the front and on the back you can see the removed piece at the bottom which acts as a skirt, as I'll demonstrate shortly. So there's the two vents and then of course you can spray paint it to your color of choice. So now that you have these vents, installation is very simple. You just have to lower the rear window and then fit the vent in the groove of the slot that the window occupied when it was there and then move the vent to the top and then as you roll up the window you make sure that that skirt at the bottom overlaps over the top of the window so that any rain that comes down the side of that vent will continue down the glass rather than get into the Jeep. And here's a view from the back that shows how that overlap skirt works. I love it. It's functional, it's inexpensive, and it looks good. So you can see here on your screen are the dimensions that you should cut your plastic corrugated panel and then 
you could spray paint your louvered soffit vent black so it'll all match and it'll just fit in the window as you can see here on the screen and you're done so it's very easy to do it's very inexpensive so let's have a look at this week's tip where I tell you how you might be able to save a little bit of money on buying that corrugated panel now for some cheaper jeeper tips well, for starters, I bought a 4x8 sheet of this corrugated plastic panel at Home Hardware because it was half the price of what I would have to pay at another local hardware store. So that's one way you could save some money is go to Home Hardware or search around because they're not all priced the same. The other thing is a 4x8 sheet of the panel is more than one person would need for their Jeep. So connect with somebody else in your club, go in half on a panel and you can make all the vents you want. So I hope that you found that helpful. Now let's hear what our subscribers have to say. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip has to do with last week's video on the diesel heater update. In particular, the connecting of the nylon fuel line to the metal fuel pipe inside the case. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, as a radio control airplane hobby guy, I also use hobby tubing and stuff as it is brass and you can get really small diameter tubing. Just as an FYI, if you need really small whatever items, drop by a good hobby shop. Signed, David. Hey David, this tip will come in very handy for our subscribers because I know it would have been handy if I had been aware of that myself when I was coming up with this design. Thank you very much. And if you have any tips that you'd like to share, please feel free to put them in the comments section below as they may make it in a subsequent video. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Cheaper TV. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, how about hitting that subscribe button right there and the alert bell so you'll be notified when our next video is released. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Cheaper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.